Is an absolute this right here, is this an absolute value inequality or equality? Equality, because that's an equal sign, right? So it says the graph of the solutions that is given, so it even gives you this graph, and it says you, it tells you, says you, well, uh, it's going to be negative 5, close dot, and 4, close dot. It gives you that. Without actually doing the algebraic work, graph the solution set of uh, each inequality. So if you wanted 2x plus 1 is less than 9, what would that be? What would change? Would you, what would you have to do? You have negative 5 and you have 4. What do you have to do? What, which direction does less than go in? There's two options, out or in. Which one is it going to be? Are you going in or out? It's less than. Less than. Yeah, give me one number that works. What's one number that would make this true? Give me one number. Give me one number that you could plug in here to make this true. Nope, because nine is not nine. Three, two, one, zero, negative one. So which place are we shading? Inside or outside? Inside. So you're going from negative five all the way to four. So what about, though, what happens if you changed it to, as they ask you, 2x plus 1 is greater than 9? You have 5, negative 5, and 4. Which, which way do you shade now? Out. You're either shading in or out. And they're oh, is it closed or open? Mm -hmm. It's open. These should be open, right? So they're open dots, and where do they go? To the outside. I feel they're giving you the points that you're working with. They're just giving them to you. Yourself? Well, if you're going to solve an absolute value inequality, how many cases are there? There's two cases. Either 2x plus 1 equals 9, or what's true? 2x plus 1 equals negative 9. Let me give me a little space there. Equals negative 9, like that. So 2x is equal to 8, or 2x is equal to negative what? negative 10, so x is equal to 4, or x is equal to negative 5. They did that for you, and they gave you those two points. They gave you negative 5 and 4 already. They set you up for success. Yes. So what's the graph of this one look like on the left? What does the graph of this one look like? What does that mean? If I graph this, what does that look like? On the left? Yeah. It's a negative 6. So you have a negative 6, and then what else do you know? The arrow goes to the left. Is it an open dot or a closed dot? Closed dot. Closed, because that right there is a hard bracket right there. So this is closed. In which way do you shade? To the left. <coughs> and then what does this one look like? Negative 9, and it's going the opposite. Is it open or closed? Closed. And it's going the opposite direction, right? But this is not what it's asking. It's not asking to make the picture. I'm doing the picture so that you can see it. It's asking, now, what does this mean right in the middle? Uh, no, what, what does that upside down U mean? What word? Intersection. Intersection. So you're asking, where do these two things intersect? Can someone tell me where they intersect? Really? They don't intersect? You sure? Where's negative six or where's negative nine? Negative nine. Uh, yeah, I didn't graph them. So look, really, if I wanted to do this, hold on, let's just do this here. Where's negative nine in relation to negative six? So I can move this. What does this actually look like if you put it on the, kind of in the same area? So if you put these together and you do the intersection, what's it going to look like? Closed or open dots? What's the left one going to be and what's the right one going to be? And what's it going to be? Negative six, and these are closed dots. And it closes it, right? So if you wanted to write this set, what's the simplest way to write that set? It's negative 9, negative 6, part of it. Negative 9, comma, negative 6, and what do you put on the outside? Hard brackets. So this would be the final answer right there. The simplest. Instead of having the intersection of two things, you can write it just as negative 9 to 6 without an intersection without a second set. Does that make sense? Cool. If this was union, that would be the simplest way to do it. If it was if, no, excuse me. If you union these two, what would the union of these two sets be, Aubrey? Right? What would the union of those two be? If you wanted to union them together, if you put them together, what's the union of those two sets, Aubrey? Down. If I asked you this, this union, this, you could write this. Absolutely, that is totally correct. But the intersection is this right there. That's the intersection.
Okay, any last is you're looking at r plus 5 is less than 20. Yes, but I just have yeah. a question. Do yep. I go ahead and put like... Start into 2. You would say r plus 5 is equal to 20, or, so and, r plus 5 is less, sorry, r plus 5 is less than 20, and r plus 5 is greater than what? Negative 20. Negative 20, exactly. So that means r has to be less than what on this side? 15. 15, and r has to be greater than negative 25. 25. So if you graph this, what does this, does this ask you to graph it? Yes. Yeah, so if you graph this, you have negative 25 and 15, and is it closed or open? They would be open. Yeah, they're open, and you shade in between these two, like this. What's the center of uh, negative 25? Oh, it's, it's why is it in between and not going the opposite way? Because it's and. You have to be less than 15 and greater than negative 25. It's yes, because it, this means and intersection. Well, it's not an intersection because not, there's no two things here, but it means and. Both things. Have, yeah, yeah. It's the intersection of. Yeah, yeah. It's the intersection of this and this. this. There it is. Which is this region right there. Exactly. What's this? What's what's the middle ground between negative negative uh, 25 and 15? How do you find the middle value? You add, add them and divide, divide by, two. by two. What's negative 25 plus 15? Negative 10. Negative 10 divided by two? Negative 5. Oh, did we know that already? Yes. That already matches what you already knew. But this is how you would do it algebraically. Zoya, you have a question? So this is 2.6 number 53. And it's 3, 6, union, 4, 9. So the best way to go about doing this, if you, if, the best way, draw a picture. So what does... 3 to 6 look like? Well, there's 3. And do we do closed or open dots at 3? Closed at 3 and closed at 6. And you shade between the two. So I'll use some highlighting to make it a little easier to see. So you have closed and closed from 3 to 6. And then 4 to 9. Where's 4 going to be? Right about there. And is it going to be an open dot there or a closed dot? Open. In which direction are you going to? You're going all the way to 9. So what are you going to have? I'll do it in, no, I'll say green here. You go from 4 all the way to 9, and you shade that. So the question is, what's the union of those two things? What's the union? What's the lowest value? Nope. What, the union can be in either one. So what is it going to be? 3 all the way to 9. And is it soft or hard there? Soft. There it is. <laughs> There it is, because if you, if you put all these things together, it doesn't matter if they're in both or just one. It has to be in one or the other or both. You go from three all the way up to nine. Now, four isn't in this set, right? But is it in this one? Four is not in this set, but is it in this one? Is four between three and six? Yes. That's why there's no hole in this, because it gets filled in by the other one. Put everything away except the pencil, please. What you see here is a document that you can edit. And actually, anybody can edit. If you scroll down, there's one, one page per section. One page per section. So I keep on scrolling here. 1.3 goes by. 1.4, we'll get there in a second. There's one page per, well, actually, multiple pages if you so choose. What you're going to do is anybody can actually add content to this. Anybody can edit it. We're going to have one person per group editing it right now. And your goal is to put as much information as you can into this document that you would love to be able to carry into the test with you. So theoretically, if you had a cheat sheet, what would you want to bring in with you? And the, this is what I ask. Look for important points. You have to explain things in your own words. Don't just copy stuff straight out unless there's no other way to say it, like a formula, for example. Examples, you can draw. There's a drawing tool. There are two things I want to show you. Under the insert menu, there's a lot of stuff you can insert. One of them is insert drawing. And you get a simple drawing tool. You can play around with this drawing tool and then It'll give you lots of options, arrows and text boxes. It's a really easy way to insert drawings right here. It's kind of cool. See that? Very nice. Yeah, you can click this. You can make it up. All, all sorts of fun. Yay. Right? You can do what you want, and then you can save and close. And eh, there it is, right? I don't really want that there, so I'm going to go right there, do the keyboard, and go delete. It's gone. So only one of you per group will be adding content, but anybody can contribute. Um, Keep in mind that you should put stuff in the section it goes into. Uh, you can take screen caps, uh, snipping tools, and then last thing under the insert menu, sorry, insert equation. Do you see the equation editor right here up at the top? You see it up there? If you go insert equation, you get all these different ways to insert equations. 
so it looks a lot nicer. Use the equation editor. So this is your chance to play. Part of your homework tonight is going to be to keep on contributing to this cheat sheet because what do you have tomorrow? Yes. You have a test. So get. So if you do log in, if you had a Google account and you were logged in, it wouldn't say anonymous dolphin or buffalo. It would actually put your name there. So if I click somewhere and start typing, so if I were to start typing right now, you should see theoretically on your screen. Exactly. <laughs> so somebody else just joined as well. You got it. Uh, well, I was just typing under basic concepts.